we're going to have something to represent the target. Uh, it's just going to be uh, a line. That's the target. So we're, the aim of our experiment is to concentrate light from two hours of two hours of the daylight, which corresponds to thirty degrees. This is thirty degrees. Uh, onto this target. So concentrate as much light as possible onto the target. So with a reflector a thing that you should know is that if your reflector is at this angle when the light bounces off the, the angle between the bouncing off light is maintained. So this, if it's 30 degrees difference between this light and this light coming in, the difference coming out will also be 30 degrees. And I have this angle finder here. So uh, uh, the angle finder, you've got to. Oh, I've got it. So it's easier to do it this way. So you line the hook with your line here. Uh, pretty much the blue line. Just square and a half of the blue line, and uh, there's the light out. Okay, and for this one, same deal. You square it off of the blue line, and uh, this is the light out. And this angle. Between the two lights coming off the reflector is 30 degrees. So um, this is an important thing to know. So this helps us to design our reflector for this because we want to grab all this as much sunlight as possible and bounce it onto this. So if it hits the reflector and comes off at 30 degrees, um, you have here a way of finding out the maximum size for the reflector and here's how you do it you just line it up so the reflector can be this far out this far out I'm going to do this fairly quickly this far out and not much point in going up here because this is um, above anyway. Uh, put in a few more points here. So this, these marks represent the maximum furthest out you can go with your reflector because of the thirty degree angle deal we have. So, I hope you are guessing what this um, this geometric figure is. It took me by surprise when I saw it uh, last week. Anyway, so this is the maximum extent that your reflector can be. I thought, oh crap. I really did think crap because it's so limited. So there's your distance here of your uh, your piece that you're shining the, the light on or through and this is all the reflection you're going to get onto it which is a very small amount from maximum from here to here. So you're, say it's a parabolic because you're shining down here, it's got to start off and it can come to here, say. So you're going to have some sort of curve to maximize it, it's going to come up to about there. And so 
and probably you can't maximize it. Oh, well, maybe you can. You might be able to maximize it because this light bounces off the end. And that light goes in no problem. But here, your light is going to go. It's going to miss. So you actually have to curve this up more. You can't even get the maximum. So yeah, that'll work. Um, so so you have very small amount of available um, area for collection. Um, okay. So what can you do about this? And there is a something you can do. If you add a little bit of reflective material up here, let's say, doesn't matter, we're just going this far. Now, oh, we've gone too far. By having a secondary reflector up here, our new Uh, our new maximum distance for reflection is way over there. So far away I can't even mark it out. Uh, I'm going to this around. So now we have gained, by having a secondary reflector, we've gained a lot more space. People have been telling me for years, you can't have a secondary reflector. But it's the only choice you can make. So here we go, now we've got a big, big wide circle. Much bigger circle than previously. So now you've got a big circle centered on here. And you can go even further because now the, f the sunlight here is coming this way, coming straight down, straight down here. Um, this means this area in here. Uh, none of the direct rays are going to hit. So, and that means this can go at an angle. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to guesstimate one. But it can go down like, like this. And that means that your line, your circle line, goes way the heck out here. So you've got nearly twice the collection area if you add a couple of secondary reflectors and um, that means a lot. And twice the area and it's starting way down here so this means your new reflector I'm only going to guesstimate this again it has to come up about here and it's still going to capture all the light, like you get maybe one bounce here. So instead of 90% you'll get 80%, but it's compared to this, you get an 80% of all this, or some of this distance over here. And most of it's the same power. So you're getting, uh, you've gained all this over here. And bear in mind that looking down from on top you get a circle here and you get a much wider circle oops around it so you are gaining you're losing this here and you're gaining this over here so you can lose this and gain this and everyone will be happy